camera two, set and rolling. Hey, welcome back to the seven P's in order to fulfill purpose. We are in video number five, which is talking about protect. This is something that is so significant to me and uh, I believe will be significant to you is this is when we talk about pursue let's go here pursue is actually following an order to catch and we talked about how when you step out of the plan out on the plan in order to pursue then that is when the spirit of fear can come in in order to try to stop you from fulfilling purpose well you have to believe in yourself in order to have the faith to step out in order to eradicate the spirit of fear that you might see your purpose so pursue is actually talking about believing in yourself in order to move but protect is now when you bring in the others the people who are gathering and looking the people who just sit around and uh, uh, see you actually performing and doing this is when you come to protect because when you step out and you pursue now that you've gotten fear under control you're now moving into public arenas and people are observing they're uh, witnessing what it is that you're doing with your life with your business or whatever it is that you're planning. They will try to stop or to block what you have going on or change the direction. You shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be doing this. This is when you have to protect, which means to guard the plan that you have. That that you put in place, you have to guard it from those who may come in and try to influence you to do what it is that they do. See, oftentimes in our communities, there are people who are afraid to step out or to pursue their own vision. So what they do is they sit around and watch those that are, are positioning themselves and pursuing their vision and plans, and they find negative things to say, what they shouldn't be doing, what they shouldn't be doing. Oftentimes, those, that position is taken from a place where you have a person that is not willing to step out on their own faith and believe for their own vision. So what they do is they try to uh, project their insecurities upon you. And if you allow them to speak the, the negative words into your life, into your vision, you will ultimately give up or uh, um, ultimately, you will, uh, ultimately you will forfeit the plan that you have in place. So if you have the plan and you're willing to believe and you trust in what you have been given by your creator, you will pursue it and you will believe in yourself, then you will protect it, you will guard it. Now this does not mean that you are not open to suggestion. It not, does not mean that you don't have a counsel that you go to, people that you are willing to hear from. Uh, that's different from the negative naysayers. That's a different position. Negative naysayers typically don't have any worth to offer. They are not gonna give you anything to help improve what it is you're doing. Typically, they're just going to speak negatively and have something to say about what you are not doing or what you uh, they feel you should be doing. They won't have anything of worth to bring to say, hey, have you thought about this? I see you're working on this, but have you taken this into consideration? They will come usually with solutions. This is the counselor, the people who you can value the people you can put in your life that you can say, okay, these people I will listen to and I, I, I will take in their feedback as pertains to what I'm doing. The naysayers and everyone else, those are the people that you're gonna have to guard the vision from because not to, not to say that they are not uh, useful in your pursuit because they are useful because these are the people who give you fuel. If you channel that energy correctly, these naysayers, the people that you're protecting, your vision from are the people that should give you fuel in order to see the vision vision fulfilled but that's another subject but when it comes to protecting or guarding the plan this is something that you're gonna have to be conscious of and if you're one that is uh, not used to a lot of um, uh, contradiction or not used to a lot of, of, of feedback from a lot of people or negativity you're gonna have to build your spirit up in the, to a place where you can say okay I believe in my plan and I'm pursuing my and I believe in what it is I'm pursuing enough to say okay I hear what you're saying but I'm not paying it any attention because I know what it is that I've been given it's gonna take boldness it's gonna take courage on your part in order to see that fulfilled if you don't do that you will ultimately lose the battle in this place in this position when it comes to protecting you'll you lose it and you'll ultimately forfeit all of the things that you put in place prior to that so as you pursue your vision as you pursue your purpose remember as you as you recognize your passion as you position yourself through prayer as you plan as you pursue remember that you must also protect you must also guard 
that which you have been given. This is the seven P's to fulfill purpose. I'm Cornel Germain. Thanks so much for tuning in. Talk to you later. All right. That's some good stuff right there. <laughs>